Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is the second week of September 2020. Love, romantic relationships, dating, and getting to know reading for you Aquarius. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. And this is for the sign of Aquarius, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to acknowledge back my subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for your support. For the love energy for the views for everything that you do in my channel thank you for guest viewers if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen and if you would like to further support my channel my team myself my journey check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my instagram account follow me there please and then check out our online store we're still selling the manifestation bracelet it comes with a free reading free shipping worldwide and for the month of September, we're giving away a free Aura Cleanse Soap along with the Manifestation Bracelet, okay? So, um, this is for you. Let me just ground my energy. What can I get for Aquarius, please? What is the message for Aquarius for the second week of September? Love, romantic, relationship, dating, or getting to know reading, okay? All right. So in today's reading, Aquarius, I will be looking at the past energy, all right? And the blockages, the challenges in your situationship in the past, uh, your energy, your current energy, your person's energy. This is the person that's manifesting you or you're manifesting them. You are somehow connected in some love force energy. And then the predictive outcome and advice, all right? Depending on the message today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So, let's start the reading Aquarius. Um, in the past energy, past position, you've got the judgment card in upright position. And you've got the two of cups, Wow. All right, there seems to be a lot of mutual love energy between the two of you. It's a go signal, you know, two of cups. Inside the two of cups, it's the colored green. So go ahead. It went ahead. It has developed the judgment card in upright position. You are taken surprise, um, taken aback um, for some of you. This is a feeling of... You met, you met your match, okay? For some of you, this is an energy. This is a situation situationship in the past where you can't say no to this, okay? This is your two of cups, judgment card. For some of you, you thought that there was an outcome, uh, a finish line. You thought it was over, but it keeps pulling you to the two of cups moment. So this is a wonderful moment. This is a match. This is a mutual love connection love energy between the two of you it is strong judgment card two of cups it is blending okay there's a lot of um you know when you when you drive your car you know you see a green light um which represents go and a red light which represents um stop with your situationship you try to put it on you try to put it on hold or into a stop mode, but it keeps giving you the two of cups. You know, you cannot deny love. You can't really deny love. When you feel it, um, it's something that you need to acknowledge. So there's definitely love or mutuality between the two of you. There's a light bulb moment. You've realized that, you know, you can't play hard to get because this is someone you had... Um, a close encounter, close encounter to a soulmate, a close encounter to which you really is very connected and very affectionate with this person and vice versa because this is a two of cups, okay? This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, and a Pisces. This is feeling like um, a Scorpio energy, um, a Sagittarius energy for some of you, a Taurus energy as well, and... Um, what else? A Libra energy for some of you. I'm um, seeing the letter U, the letter M, the letter N, if, if that is significant for some of you. So that's the past situation. And the blockages and the challenge between the two of you, that two of cups, um, there was a, a devil energy. It could be 
you have possibly slept with this person connected with this person in some ways that is unknown or undefined um, for some of you um, I feel like one of the blockages and the challenges is that because this was a two of cups moment you know and two of cup when you feel a two of cups moment with somebody you want to keep it right who who does not want to keep their love uh, situation or love person close to them so it could be you were because you've got here the um the ten of swords okay ten of swords this is um this is a lot of thoughts okay for some of you this is the end of a um a toxic and i'm hearing really that you have the power this is this energy the devil card in the ten of swords this could be a gemini libra aquarius this could be a capricorn but what i'm getting from the blockages and the challenges um cards and energy is that the ten of swords is something that you could really tackle the ten of swords this is a moment where you can finish it off uh swords represents um thought process the logical process and the devil card represents sexuality toxic you know um, the devil card is also tempting it could be deceitful it could be lies something inconsistent um if you look at the devil card it's green on top of it is an apple okay so there's a lot of temptation and it's something that you can counter off okay so the negativity around you, the blockages and the challenges, it's something that you can end. It's something that you can fight off, okay? It's something that you and your person, if you stick together as a two of cups, you can make it work, okay? Because ten of swords, this is an end of a bad toxic relationship, a bad toxic undefined, unknown um, territory, okay? You are exploring and so is your person, a feeling a situation where it seems to be um it's still it is um it is less than a lover but more than a friend's energy so this is something that you and your person can work together and define you know ten of swords in reverse you know you have to put down all of that swords that th you know you need you need to stop and to put down all of the um, confusing thoughts and logical process that is creating you a devil moment or a devil energy because for some of you i felt like this is just a self-creation because you are creating thoughts or it, it creates insecurity and you manifested something in the surface so i'd suggest that if you have any um concerns and worries and question you could always ask that to your two of cups okay remember in the past energy there was mutuality your person yourself will gladly answer each other's question depending on how you deliver it but there's some sort of diplo diplo diplomacy around questioning asking you know don't let your thoughts stay as thoughts you know put it out there ask nicely ask in diplomacy and you will have it because you've got the two of cups okay there is a two of cups this is a very confident connection or relationship if you want to question it because of some inconsistency toxicity around you put it out there don't assume because you are creating your own devil all right you are creating your own devil and it is affecting the two of cups moment for some of you it has already affected the two of cups moment you have created some sort of an energy and so as your person a jealousy betrayal or some sort of inconsistency that you know that this beautiful two of cups it has been affected it it's it's been tainted okay um in the current energy you've got the um five of cups in upright position and then you've got the six of pentacles so you're trying to to find balance okay you're sad you're a bit lost okay five of cups is sad because you feel lost you feel like you were left out you feel like you miss this person five of cups is also an emotional instability and next to it is the um six of pentacles which is 
you don't want to beg for attention you don't want to overdo it um, you're trying to find balance or regain balance in terms of what you and your person or situationship have been through there is also calling for you Aquarius to find balance within you okay what is the source of your sadness what is the source of your doubt what is the source of this devil energy in here do you have proof are you asking the right question are you behaving the right energy attitude that will be able to produce or save the two of cups okay sometimes we're so focused on wanting this and controlling this if it's not ready we need to let go and let you know the universe take care of the natural way of you know how things will fall into places and um i think that is one of the you know the the recurring theme in here is you try to put control you try to put time timeline and at the end it fall back into un unmet expectation which if you clearly think about it that unmet expectation who created that okay who pictured that out all right so that's the question i get and the energy i get from the current energy with these two cards now let's look at the person's energy your situationship or the person's energy okay your person's energy um they've got the eight of pentacles and the ten of cups this person is not making an effort because they are not happy with the recent communication with how you ended or with the last um the last i don't know argument but Ten of Cups, when this is in reverse, this is emotional, um, love, dissatisfaction. And then Eight of Pentacles, they're not going to, your, your person is not going to make an effort if they are not confident and they are emotionally not satisfied with what you and them shared together. Okay, so I want you to review, I want you to review the last conversation, the last communication. Because your person is not inspired. Your person is not inspired to reply, to interact with the last bit of stuff that you had together. Okay? There was some sort of slip out, slip away energy in here. Um, I'm going to get another two cards. Why your person feels this way. There is an emotional dis dissatisfaction in here um eight of wands okay for some of you guys this person that you're dealing with they're not happy that you are i don't know jealous possessive or you are intriguing them or you are judging them or you're kind of pointing them an energy of something that they are not okay for some of you i get an energy aquarius of let's let's stay to our boundary okay Look at your situation. Are you confirmed that you are a lover? Because I don't see a lover's energy in here. I see a two of cups. A mutual agreement, but it's not official for some of you. So you need to watch out for your boundary. Um, that's why you are, you know, you are you are creating a devil energy because of your expectation or your, you know, the, the boundary itself. So your person, okay, your person is not inspired or interactive to make a move or to reply to respond or to give you the two of cups because of something of a territory of or a boundary or something that was rushed for some of you they're not happy okay they're not satisfied currently um when i clarify that um, um we it was an eight of wands this is a good card which means that your person your person's energy it could change you could convince them. All you have to do is call, text, and follow up and really tell them, let's patch things up. You know, don't stay underground, okay? Don't let your, you know, thoughts process to stay as a thoughts, question that's just in your head. Um, remove the devil energy in here and just be around this person because they are inspired of you if you act in a mutual agreement with them okay so there's no there's no reason to rush there's no reason to control this person is within your side um it is um it is really following the natural process in here if you didn't receive a call or a text follow up it doesn't hurt okay because this is your person eight of wands they're waiting for you they're waiting for a 
blunt you know they're waiting for a blunt reply respond or a blunt energy between the two of you so instead of the devil energy suspicion um trying to control um i don't know thinking of betrayal instead of creating a devil energy why don't you convert that into flirt into charming into flirting into charming into um into an inviting message to make them more and more interactive because this person is willing to try okay they're willing to try but some of you guys you're very guarded you know in love in in a dating scenario scenario you need to break your wall <laughs> you need to break your wall ego should not play in this if you want the two of cups the two of cups to upgrade into a lovers okay if for some reason you didn't get the response the reply then it means that this is not your person and it could be that your two of cups is just a two of cups but what i see in the energy in here is that your person is willing to do it is willing to try is willing to be interactive they're waiting for you to do some work do some you know do some charming towards them okay so review whatever it is that you have acted from past to present seems to be this is workable okay that's what i get from here in the um immediate future you've got the moon card okay in reverse and the world card it's pretty clear that this is an unfinished business for you and your person okay now you've got your the two of wands and the ten of wands this is the last blow okay i see you and your person trying again i see you and your person will communicate again within the next two months but this is will be this will be the last time so make them make the make the best out of this okay this person is willing to play the game of charming flirting they're willing to have a commitment it, it will take a bit of time but it is that process that this person enjoy and so you are so don't try to put control okay um, there's still gonna be an attempt. I'm sure you want to hear that. I see it two of wands. Okay, it's a short plan. It's complicated, but there is gonna be another attempt. Look at the ten of wands. It's binded. The ten of wands, it's surrounded by the green color, which is pretty much the two of cups moment. So your two of cups moment in the past, this is very valuable that you can still use up this energy in the future between you and your person. Okay? So there's a need for you to do some assignment. Good luck to you. And um, I hope this uh, reading helps you with your worries and concern. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.